Hello folks, Pino Black here. Number one thing we want to do is this is the square that gets imposed. This is not me. This is our what keeps your ass high and dry every day. US military in our other country cohorts in the world. And this is a satellite feed from way out in the space, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not gonna disclose what satellite it is and so forth and so on. You should be lucky to be able to see the feeds. These are the asteroid belts here. And this could be the same one, but we do know we have more than two. I'm not going to get down to exact NAS ass on that stuff right now. We know all about this triangulation that's out in there in outer space, i.e. note all this stuff. So you'll have this frozen. Now this is the supergiants and the sun here, and these are supergiants way back light years behind the sun. And you can tell even by just looking at this, that folks, that that's just not one sun there possibly in the Milky Way. It doesn't really matter about the Milky Way either, folks. We do know that... Ra Alpha or whatever, and there's another one that's Ra, something that's pretty close to the sun there, and it's in the supergiants, and the sun is in the supergiants, and you can see the not perpendicular circular, and this are supergiants behind the sun, and so forth and so on. But look at the size of whether that the idea that whether this is common alanin or an object that was close by the Earth. Well, exact fact because the idea this is the closest object one of the close objects by Earth today, right here, superimposed by, yes, our all military great and powerful and other nations defense system. We have satellites out in space and this is a projectile that came close to us in outer space. Natural folks, object of outer space, we can identify it later. But it does look, when I go to, watch, I'm gonna go to the photo stills. And what it's going to do is look a lot like the front object on what I said and considered could possibly be Elenin, which is probably part of the asteroid belt of either this here or this here, which could be just one asteroid belt or more than one asteroid belt because we believe we do have two in there. And I do have a map that I've showed you on earlier videos, and I will get into that not on this video, but probably in the next video I will bust in and show you the asteroid maps. And NASA tells you, oh, those asteroid belts are not close to Earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we believe you, NASA. And the idea that we know what we know. And yeah, they're a long ways away. Because even this, folks, this is asteroid belt. That is a long ways, like, awe you away from, even this object here, awe you away from Earth. But they are closer than they have ever been to Earth. And they are almost like a clothing right now on the Earth. This is the asteroid belt, folks. Satellites don't have lights, folks. This is the sun. These bright objects are very bright objects and large objects of space. Milky Way is in more than just the universe of the Milky Way. We are co-mingling and melding with other universes right now and also the supergiant's main sequence. These are not flashlight folks. These are not man-made spaceships out there with lights on. It's not an F-1 fighter. It's not a uh, and I love the SR-71 Blackbird and all of our spy dig diddy gigs in this satellite that's giving you this photograph. These are an asteroid belt. NASA lied to you. They are as close or closer than they'll be to Earth in who knows all of mankind's time. All right, so this is the sun and the supergiants, okay? And as you can see, the sun is not totally perpendicular circular. So the idea that that's more than one sun, and it doesn't matter, you can lie all you want. I know about Ralphia, or whatever you want, I'll pronounce it wrong right now, but the idea that I have it in my other past videos, and I will show you more about the supergiants in the future. There are tons of suns, and way bigger than the sun that we actually have closest to us. Now, this is the close object lately, and look at the size of the sun. Whether you want to sit there and tell me that it's one sun, or the supergiants and the sun, look at the size of this close object as it went by. And it sure looks, when we go to the stills, it'll look an awful lot like the uh, still object in the front portion of my video that shows you what the space station shows you. And I'll, I don't even remember what name I put on that video. So we'll go back to that in a minute. 
Okay, folks, I apologize about the boob tube in the background. I don't watch the boob tube. So anyway, as you can see, this object here that I've got the hand around and the object or the, the circle is the idea that that looks a lot like the front-running object of the asteroid belt, i.e., look at the asteroid belt that we have around the Earth as of the picture I just left a minute ago, and this asteroid belt, which when we do look at NASA stuff, it shows the asteroid belt going up and over the Earth. Okay, so is it just the one solid one here, or is this the one of the two? We'll answer that later in the week, or maybe even next week. I'm in no hurry to show you, because this stuff isn't just going to run away tomorrow and disappear. Okay, so, okay, folks, we had seven objects yesterday, and as of today, the 1020, this is all 1020 that you're seeing slides of and stuff like that, and what the movies I will try to show, and th there has been four objects today. Okay. There's one, two, three, and there's one more down on the bottom, and it's not really dramatic much. If I move, I'm going to lose the cover-up of protecting our views that we would like to enjoy, okay? So, as like I say, this looks like the leading object that we saw from the space lab footage that we had, and we can see the asteroid belt there, and you can see the asteroid belt here. It could be the same asteroid belt, could be more later, we'll worry about that later. I ain't even worried about it. Most everything I show you, I just try to show it to you right away. And the idea that we can always argue, piss, and moan about, okay, it's this and it's that. And we can always be figured out in the future, just like when I've showed you Jupiter, Mars, Venus, or Saturn. We all know where it's at, and we can all prove, okay, it was this, that, on that date of the picture, okay? The idea that this is all pictures of the 10-20-2011. 10th month, 20th date, 2011. And we'll get to some times and some data in a minute. And for the hell of it, folks, down here on the bottom... Uh, here's the the latest. Okay, this would be the last fourth closest image, and the idea that we've got this here I can see without even looking at the video yet, because you can see an asteroid or a comet when it comes by, and look at the size of the sun. Okay, and then look at the size of yes, not very small. Nope, not small at all because Earth is just a gnat. Earth would almost be like this little dot of the reflection or planet that you see right there, which this could be either. Uh, I believe Mercury would be the smallest so idea that I haven't even looked at the deal, and I think that's probably a pretty good guess. That's either Mercury or Saturn sitting right there, following the sun, following or behind the sun. Okay, so the idea that we are a gnat's ass compared to the sun, and the idea that look at the size of this close comet or asteroid that has come by. Okay, you see that there, and we'll go to some footage. Okay, being a black here, folks, and you basically you'll go back to seeing the, the beginning of the video. You can back it up. And you will see the square catching the what you'll see in the player because the player is going to go real fast. Here we go. The player is even gone. There it went. Okay. So this is, and I got lucky. I froze it. Wow. Got, we got crap lucky, folks. Because I froze this, and this is even better than probably the that I still on the freeze frame on the still earlier. Okay. So there you go. As it came around Earth, it started shooting away, and it will go this way away from Earth at. I'll see the data here in a second. We'll give it without me saying and putting my foot in my mouth, but I think it's like one point. I haven't even looked at the data yet, but I know it's probably a good, well, it has to be either 0 .05 something AU or one out. And let's, let's go to the data. Let's see what it is. Okay, folks, this could possibly be actually the same object, uh, you know, circling, uh, or it doesn't really matter. But we can see the time is pretty matching close to what I showed you yesterday. It's the idea that this object was at, I don't know if you can see it on the data here, because I'm not reading this right now. I'm just showing you the data so you can play this and freeze it and look at, read all this data here. Because like I said yesterday, this is the latitude longitude and the idea that, I don't know if this matches up, but this would be pretty darn close to being in New Mexico. Uh, the sun comes up below the earth uh, in the axis right now. And the idea that, if you were outside at this latitude and at this land longitude, you would probably be able to see it whether daylight or evening, okay? And the idea that our tractors and the government and Air Force, military, Navy, all the infrastructure, the Army, everything, Marines, everybody's got their satellites. So I don't pay attention to which satellite it is. don't want to share the names too much because I don't want to get us screwed and not be able to see the data or anything more. So I, I'm just going to stick to this one. There were five objects today. This one moved out at like 115, and I don't know if you can even read it on here, but it was in 100 kilomiles a second. Okay, so this thing was hauling ass, and you can see what I was talking about before about the size of it compared to the size of the sun. Okay, so all the smoke, everybody's been trying to blow up everybody's ass for who knows how long. 
Uh, yeah, I think this is the speed right here. Yeah, 25 point something kilomiles a second. And actually, I think that's wrong because I think it's 105 kilomiles a second. And let me freeze it and go to the other one that I don't want to be able to disclose the information. Hang on. And yep, everybody, it was moving out at 105.065 kilometers a second. Okay, forget this over here. Okay, this is plus or minus over there on the other side. I'm not even going to argue about that right now, but it was that fast, 105.065 kilometers a second. Yes, this KMS, this was this. And the slowest that was, was in the 70 kilometers a second, okay? And you've seen the size. You can't differentiate the size. You can compare it to the sun. I showed it to you, okay? So the NASA tells you the truth all the time. There's no asteroid belts near the Earth, and the idea that there's those close objects, yes, they're a long ways away, but they're big and they're fast. So NASA can lie to you or tell you the truth, whatever they want to tell you they're telling you. Be no black does not blow any smoke up your anal canal, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, folks, uh, be no black back here, and you can see the triangulation. This is the sun or suns and the supergiants, and you can see even more exploited is the idea that this satellite is farther out or actually, I, I don't know, it could be farther or closer, doesn't really matter either. Its zoom in power is better. And you can see more triangulation of objects in space, i.e. my arrow, which I don't know if I, you get the yellow when I go over. But you can see this triangulation here, this triangulation here, all kinds of triangulation, 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 and super giants, ladies and gentlemen. These are not just flashlights out in the space, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I believe this could be Mars. Uh, this could be Mars. One of the small objects has to be Mars somewhere. Uh, Mars is one of the smaller objects out there in space. But you see this. Can't miss that. Uh, you know, and it's in space, and it's bright. It's going to be there. I.e., anything secrets anybody knows about anybody being on the moon, when we look at footage of our proud astronauts, and I'm proud of them too, but the idea that when we see the footage, folks, it bleeds, okay? Uh, if something's bright and in space, it's going to show up on film, as we see here. So the idea that this is the supergiants and the sun, okay? It's not Ellen. Now, you will see whatever NASA wants to call Ellen, whatever anybody wants to call anything, this is not a popcorn fart, ladies and gentlemen. In a minute, you are going to see something very bright and very maybe doesn't matter an eighth a tenth of the size of the sun which we kind of can see even by just looking at that and that and that and thinking about triangulation the supergiants out there ladies and gentlemen that the idea that this is the supergiants and they're there and they're very bright and you will watch and see a very bright object go around here and our government and other nations satellites in outer space are going to see this object go to the right now here I'll hit play And as you see, here it is. It's going to be to the right. And there it is, folks. Okay. And as on the other satellite shot, it showed it being bigger and brighter as it flared by to the right when it left. So the idea that you have these triangulations here that you see down in, that you can see in Palau down in, and also this triangulation here, this triangulation here, this triangulation here, and yes, always driving triangulations everywhere well that's the tr that's what the truth of the whole matter is is there are a shitload of triangulations in space and the idea that this object is the one that came by and even just freeze frame here before it gets real big and bright before it goes around earth in its orbit look at the size of it compared to the sun or even the super giants which are 500 and something and on back in 0.57 are you away from Earth? Yes, folks, we have a sun of the supergiants that is probably closer to us right now than the sun is. We have more than one sun, ladies and gentlemen. Way more than one sun. There's over 200 of them in the supergiants. And 100 of them are 4 to 74 times the size of the sun. We are a speck on a gnat's ass in the universes. One more time, and... 
This is object frozen, and the idea is closure. Legal disclosure. I want to thank all taxpayers for giving us the films and footage that we get to see, and we love our satellites.